The inspiration this year for Picking Guys and Dolls was that it's a classic, and we have yet to do a classic here at Fairfax. We've been pushing the envelope with the things that we've brought to the stage, and even though it's like 1950s musical, it still is very relatable today, and the characters are funny, and it's fast-paced. Hey, I'm a Dinsmore, or DJ Bartley, and I'm a Nicely Nicely Guys and Dolls. I enjoy playing nicely nicely because he's he's just a really happy guy. Like you can kick him in the face and he'll be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is EJ. I play Sky Masterson in Guys and Dolls, and this will be my seventh show at Fairfax High School. Uh, one of the most uh, notable things about Guys and Dolls as a show is its scene work. Uh, there's a lot of scenes in the show, more than most musicals. The show choreographically is very athletic, especially for our men. Um, we are so lucky to have the talent we do at Fairfax. I know that anybody that comes and sees the show is going to just be blown away. They're going to be like, I cannot believe those are high school kids doing that. Hello, my name is Hayden Giles, and I am playing the character of Nathan Detroit in Fairfax High School's Guys and Dolls. My favorite part of the whole process would have to be working with the cast. I mean, they're just such a phenomenal group of people, and it's fun to see everyone perform and see what they have to bring to the table. Hi, my name is Tori Garcia. I play Sarah Brown in Guys and Dolls. My favorite part about Guys and Dolls is probably Havana. It's an amazing number, and everyone's involved some way, and it's just super high energy. It's totally different from the rest of the show, and um, it's really cool. I think the biggest challenge about playing Sarah is that people think she's a very stagnant character when really she's one of the most dynamic characters in the show. She has one of the biggest transformations over the course of the show and I think it's really interesting to see how she changes and grows um, from beginning to end. What I'm really excited for is to see our audience's reaction to our twist that we put on the show. I won't give anything away but it's gonna be great and you'll want to see it. Once again, even though we've gone back in time with the musical, we've gone forward in time with the special effects and technology, with choreography, um, with all of those risks that we're taking to kind of keep us, um, keep us ahead of the game and on top of the game, I guess, to put forth something that we could be really proud of and that audiences can leave saying like, whoa, that was, that was intense.